you please remind me sometimes i Okay, deductive argument and inductive argument. First, you just have to understand these two terms, particular and general. Application and theory. let's understand this you will understand deductive and inductive terms very easily in all context what is particular particular is just a simple case is just a particular case we are talking about so particular case can be specific case or any particular case for example today my milkman got late yesterday my milkman got late this is particular statement we are talking about particular situation now general situation general situation means we are generalizing everything we are just uh, in any context we are generalizing everything we are generalizing every time for example every time my milkman got late or we can say my milkman used to be late this is general situation this is one example of particular one example of general let's take one example one more example of this particular to general on 16th when uh on any date let it be on 16 when i uh went to your house your dog uh, barked at me on 18th when i went to your house your dog barked at me on 19th when i went to your house your dog barked at me these are particular cases what will be the general case of this particular statement? Every time I go to your house, your dog barks at me. Yes, very good. Every time I go to your house, your dog bark at me. Okay, now one last example for this. Apple falls down. Mobile falls down. Or any item you can take just write it names falls down 
uh, uh, after this, we can keep this when uh, throw uh, when throughout upwards. Apple falls down when through the walls. Mobile falls down when through the walls. Anything you can take any uh, you can take any items here. Falls down when through the port. What will be the general statement for this? Anything that's thrown upward falls down. Uh, anything that we will throw upwards, it will falls down. Very good. It is general statement. That means particular is also known as application of any theorem and general statement are also known as that theorem only. For example, everything that thrown upwards falls down. So unintentionally, you just gave a theorem and this theorem is known as theory of gravitation. So when we talk about some general things, we are giving a theorem or it can be a, a pre-proved theorem, but we are talking about any theorem when we are talking about any general case. Every time I go to your house, your dog bark at me, barked at me. In this, we are also giving a theorem. Every time my milkman used to late, used to be late. In this, we are also like setting up a statement. We are also uh, developing a generalized approach. We are also developing a, uh, what we can say, a type of theorem about my milkman. So general situation are like a, a theorem and a particular statement are like application of that theorem because of gravity. Uh, like now see this in a uh, reverse. We have a general theorem. Everything that from a fall falls down. It is a theorem, generalized theorem. So it will be applied to Apple also. Apple falls down when we threw it upward. Mobile will also fall down when we threw it upward. So this is particular condition, particular, uh, what we can say, particular uh, applications. So these two terms, I think now are clear to you these four terms. Is there any doubt in these four terms? No, sir. Okay. If these four terms are now clear to you, then you can easily understand deductive inductive. Now let's talk about deductive. What is deductive argument? What is deductive teaching? What is deductive? Okay, now first understand this argument only. Then we will understand teaching and research. What is deductive argument? Deductive argument. In deductive argument, we go through general to particular. We first, our premise is in this general statement form. And our conclusion is in this uh, particular statement form. Now let's take some example to understand this. General to particular G T P. Okay, sorry. You can also remember this as DGP, not GTP, DGP. Deductive argument are general to particular DGP. Now let's take example. 
everything that thrown upward falls down now if i throw mobile upward it will falls down now i want to prove this point if i throw mobile upward it will falls down it is my conclusion so for this i am giving a statement everything that thrown upward falls down so in this my premise is general statement i am giving a theory and with the help of this pre uh, proved theory i am giving a conclusion so all these type of reasoning all these type of argument where we are going to general to a particular where we are moving through any theory to its application these type of argument are known as deductive argument okay now everyone just give one one example of deductive argument till now whatever you understood deductive argument just give one one example yes yes sir i try yes uh it's a journal housewife cooks the food uh, mm. every housewife cooks the food and i cook the food it's a particular and journal is the every housewife cooks the food it's a okay so so you are trying to prove like i cook food because i am a housewife and every housewife cook the food so your premise yes. okay yes. statement okay next sir uh, Uh, yoga UGC yoga exam is conducted between that six uh, uh, to twenty two. That is uh, uh, general. A mm -hmm. uh, particular is uh, that exam date. It is, it is coming between that uh, to uh, between the, that, uh, the exam date is yes. like conducting between six to twenty two. Yes. In this, you are also talking about this particular time. you can say your example is very good but just change the perspective in this you are also talking about particular time like this december cycle what you can say okay every time ugc net exam is conducted in december or june so it will this time it will also conducted in 8th of december or any date you can give is this clear yes, sir okay sir okay next one Sir, all fat people eat a lot. That is a general statement. Huh. X is fat and eats a lot. Y is fat, eats a lot. These are particulars. Okay, yeah, these are particulars. Uh, example you are proving, and uh, on the basis of that theorem, very good. Okay, next. Just Sir, say. Yeah, I will tell. Yeah. Mm. So every every time I go out in winter, mm. I get cold. Uh, mm. This and that is general. This time also I went out in winter. I got cold. Ah, very good example. If you if you don't want to go outside with your friend, you can give this argument. Like every time I go out. i got a cold so that's why i am not coming because if i will come i will get a cold so this is also a good example okay next so every time when i go to the doctor for dental checkup hmm and this time i am diagnosed with uh, fever uh can you repeat Every time I visit the doctor for general checkup, mm -hmm. and this time I am diagnosed with fever. 
okay every time okay your premise should be directly according to your conclusion okay yes next uh, sir if every parents provide their children good education i also Haan. admit my child into a good school ha very good so i think now this general or theory to application general to particular is clear to you now let's discuss this uh particular to general okay so if in this one more important point note this if premise is true if your premise is true let's suppose your premise is true uh will the conclusion definitely be true can yes, we ha huh. if our premise is true the in this deductive reasoning if our premise is true then definitely our conclusion will also be true if the statement is true that every time i go out i am getting a cold if this statement is true i am not uh, talking about like it happens or it not happen but if you are supposing this statement is true then definitely when you will go outside one more time you will get a cold so what is the main characteristic of deductive reasoning it is that if your premise is true then definitely if your theorem is true if theory of gravity is true then definitely it will also attract mobile it will also attract pen so application will also be true this is deductive reasoning now let's move towards inductive reasoning i think now inductive reasoning you can guess what is inductive reasoning inductive reasoning we are moving towards particular to general not from general to particular we are moving towards particular to general in this we are trying to observe a pattern we are trying to observe a pattern in different particular cases and on the basis of that pattern we are giving a statement a generalized statement like let's take a uh a recent example in 2015 india lost in semi final in 2019 india lost in semi final in 21 india lost in final in 23 india also lost in final so these all are particular statement on on the basis of this if you are talking about india always fails to perform in knockout matches knockout matches means final or semi final so this is our general statement so we are just giving some particular uh we are again giving some uh, particular cases we are enlisting some particular cases on the basis of this we are creating a general exam a uh, general statement so 
in this statement in this deductive reasoning what we were doing we were using any pre-proved theorem we were using any pre-proved law but in inductive reasoning what we are doing we are creating a new law or creating a new theorem one more example okay that dog uh example what we take like on that day i visit your house your dog bark at me on that day uh dog also bark at me on some other day dog also bark at me this means dogs don't like me or sorry when i uh, went to my friend house his dog bark at me when I was running on the street, dogs start barking at me. When I went to a police, the police dog also start barking at me. So the general statement, dogs don't like me. So this is a general statement. So what we are doing on the basis of various particular cases, we are trying to understand a pattern. We are trying to uh, understand a pattern and identify a pattern and on the basis of that pattern we are trying to give a generalized statement is this clear yes sir okay now just give one one example two premises will be enough yes yeah so um, um... From the Taitri Upanishad, maybe that that part I remembered, sir. So he observes that people eat and then they grow. Mm. Exceeds and grows. Why eats and grows? So he came to a conclusion that everybody eats food and grows. Oh, very good. Everybody eats food and grow. He gives a theory or he gives a statement, general statement. Very good. Okay, next. Okay, one more example from your side. Anyone? Yes, sir, I'll try. Uh, see, I don't know to... Uh, uh, so, I can't drive uh, two-wheeler. Then mm -hmm. I can't drive uh, four-wheeler. Uh, so, I can't drive any vehicle. Uh -huh. So, good, my driving skills are not good it will be a general statement okay okay i think two example of sub are sufficient we also have some time uh shortage of time so remaining all the remaining student are you having any problem in understanding this Should I repeat sir, this? Uh, it is an uh, inductive argument or inductive reasoning, sir. Uh, you written as a... Uh, huh. Inductive argument and inductive reasoning is same. Same. Okay, sir. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now, let's... Together, we can discuss what is inductive or deductive teaching or research, I think you already aware of this term. No need to cram this. Just go with general to particular for deductive and for inductive go with particular to general. Anything can be there, teaching or reasoning. Now let's talk about teaching. What is deductive teaching? So deductive teaching is a type of teaching in which first we are explaining theorems to student directly first we are directly giving them general statement and on the basis of then general statement we are giving them questions or homework in particular statement like we 
taught them Pythagoras theorem. We taught them theory of gravitation. And now we are giving them question on the basis of that theorem, where they can apply that theorem to various particular uh, condition, various specific condition. This is deductive teaching. Like as we do in maths, whenever I'm not teaching maths, I'm just giving an example. Let this side be A, let this side be B. So this is under root A square plus B square. Every time it will follows like this. So it is a general statement. It is a, a law. It is a theorem we are teaching our student. We are first teaching them theorems or laws. And then we are giving them homework, like consider a specific triangle. It's one side is five, one side is eight. Now find out this side. So you are giving them homework regarding application of theorem, application of laws, application of theories. So this is deductive teaching. Like for example, you just uh, uh, told them like there is some theory of gravitation which tells uh, every time you throw a fault something it will goes down. Then you will ask question: Will the mobile falls down? Will the uh, pen will be fall down? So this is deductive teaching. Now let's talk about inductive teaching. Inductive teaching is a high order teaching. What happens in inductive teaching? Inductive teaching develops critical thinking among the student. In inductive teaching, you first give them example or application and then you ask your student to find a specific pattern in this example or application that you gave to your uh, student and then you uh, ask them to find a particular uh, pattern and give a general statement, give a theory. For example, you will just give your exam, uh, your student a lot of example, like I am throwing the this pen down. I am just releasing this pen and it is going down. I am releasing this bottle and it is going down. So can you understand a particular uh, pattern in this? So your student can, uh, they may ultimately reach to this, that everything that falls down, it Everything that is released, it goes down. So this is inductive teaching. In deductive teaching, we first directly explain them what is the actual law, what is the uh, actual theorem, and then we give them example, we give them uh, questions on the basis of that theorem uh, we give application of that theorem. In inductive teaching, we just first give them example and we uh, expect them that on the basis of example, they will derive a general theory. Like if I want to explain solar system, if I want to explain like every planet revolves around the sun. So what I can do, I can just, I can just tell them directly like every planet revolves down the solar system. Which type of teaching is this? Deductive or inductive? Every type of planet revolves around the sun. Uh, every planet revolves around the sun. I am directly telling to my students. It's deductive. It is deductive teaching. Very good. Directly giving statement. I am directly explaining theorem to them. But what if... I will tell them Earth is a planet and it revolves around the sun. Mercury is a planet, it also revolves around the sun. Mars is a planet, it also revolves around the sun. Can you? It is inductive. It is inductive teaching. 
so which teaching is good detective or inductive it depends on the concept that is being taught whether uh, if there is already a, a very good theorem like the uh, newton laws or something like that then going with the theory and then applying asking the students to apply might be a good thing for the areas where there is no good uh, general uh, theorem or formula or general principle then giving the students the examples and asking them to find a pattern would be good ah uh, yes very good this can be like the students uh, 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 we can we can uh, teach now sir yes now now i am coming to real question good answer from your side now which teaching is uh, good it should not be question like that you explain this very correctly the question should be like this which teaching is at higher level inductive or deductive inductive because that uses a lot That's of true, intelligence sir. of the students uh, yeah. and directive is stupid we are forcing them to use their brain we are just not directly giving them theorem okay now on the basis of this can you explain inductive research or deductive research yes sir okay so what is inductive research what is deductive research just try to explain then i will uh, explain from my side okay yeah so um, deductive research is probably with what is already existing based on the principle that's already existing we are we are trying to use that principle in our research mm -hmm. and trying to say that this is what it is based on that principle um the example is uh, probably we can take the yogic techniques itself from mm -hmm. a particular scripture which say that this particular technique of yoga brings in these kind of benefits mm -hmm. and we are trying to do an experiment um uh, kind of a qualitative uh, quantitative study or an experimental research where we have the uh, dependent and the independent variables and we we are trying to prove that the uh, we are trying to kind of perform the research saying that uh, the technique the independent variable has an influence on the dependent variable so this is backed by the scripture ha huh, very good very good i understood very nicely you understood this deductive research okay yes inductive research and then uh, there might be certain techniques like we are coming up with uh, new uh, research methods where we don't know whether all these curated techniques like technique 1 technique 2 technique 3 put together curated techniques bring a certain kind of effect so that is not mentioned in the scripture okay when all these things like asana pranayama blah 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 everything uh, in a particular framework when that is given to uh, somebody it brings out a certain kind of benefit or there is something that i want to show which is not already in the scripture yes very good so basically what you want to say is that in deductive research what we are doing we Check. so i'm trying to i'm trying to uh, use this particular curated uh, uh, framework of yogic techniques on a mm -hmm. small group like on 10 people 1 to 10 so i'm trying to see whether the first person has some effect so that kind of experiment where i get some data and based on that data i try to analyze whether it's trying to bring out some kind of effect ha huh, a new effect which is not mentioned in text very good okay so deductive research as you told very nicely you understood this we can say in deductive research 
रिसर्च मीन्स वी आर रिसर्चिंग समथिंग वी आर सर्चिंग फॉर समथिंग बट हाउ वी आर सर्चिंग वी आर सर्चिंग और वी वॉन्ट टू नो वेदर अ प्री डिफाइंड और प्री एग्जिस्टिंग थ्योरी इज करेक्ट और नॉट सो दिस इज डिटेक्टिव रिसर्च लाइक यू हैव अ थ्योरी वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल यू गेव लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल विद द हेल्प ऑफ यू हैव अ थ्योरी बेस्ड ऑन यूर स्क्रप्चर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन यूर स्क्रप्चर इट इज रिटर्न ट्राटका हेल्प टू काम द माइंड this is a theory it is written in your text now what you will do you will choose 40 individuals and in every individual you will check is trataka helping in uh, to calm the mind or it is not helping so you are just going taking a general statement and you are going to then particular cases इट इज वर्किंग और नॉट तो दिस टाइप ऑफ रिसर्च इज डिटेक्टिव रिसर्च इन विच वी ट्राइज टू चेक आ जनरल स्टेटमेंट ऑफ हाउ बाई गोइंग टू पर्टिकुलर केसेज लाइक इट इज वर्किंग और नॉट इन दिस वी ऑलरेडी हैव अ थ्योरी लाइक यू हैव अ थ्योरी ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन यू जस्ट रीड इन योर बुक दैट everything that release in space it comes to ground you have theory of gravitation now you start throwing everything of everything upward and you are now checking whether it comes down or not so it is deductive research in deductive research we try to check whether a pre existing theorem is correct or not based on checking in a uh, checking with different particular cases is it clear yes sir yes sir now inductive in inductive research what we used to do in inductive research we just take uh in inductive research we just observe some phenomena and on the basis of various observation we give a new theory so this question is asked many times in ugc like which type of research is used to develop a new theory it is inductive research like as uh, usha ma'am explained like we can see if there is some more benefit which are not mentioned in text on the basis of various observation you are giving a new theory based on various observation it is inductive research then after some time someone will just select your theory and will check whether it is correct or not so that will be deductive research so in inductive research we give a new theory based on observation by understanding patterns between those observation and in deductive research we check whether a theory is correct or not so i think it is clear to you is there any doubt in this deductive inductive research reasoning teaching any doubt yes sir yes sir okay now let's move to this paper <laughs> ओके डिटेक्टिव आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड इंडक्टिव आर्ग्यूमेंट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस डिटेक्टिव आर्ग्यूमेंट मीन्स फर्स्ट वी आर गिविंग अ जनरल स्टेटमेंट एंड देन वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स अ पर्टिकुलर कंक्लूजन in inductive argument various type of 
particular cases we are taking and then we are moving towards general conclusion okay one thing i forgot to mention in inductive argument if all your premises are true then is there uh, any uh, we can say uh, is definitely can we say like our conclusion will also be true yes sir yes sir okay. in inductive argument please think again if all your premises are true can we say definitely our conclusion will also be true but we can't generalize to that extent i think but if you have to come out with a theory then probably it has to be true ha uh, you have to come out with a theory but can you say your theory is uh can you claim it is completely no, correct no we can't ha uh, no, no like for example you have seen someone a uh, first day uh okay first day the man delivering milk to your house he got late second day he also got late third day he also got late so you develop a theory and you develop a general conclusion like he gets late every time what if the next day he will be on time you cannot do anything na you are just observing some cases and on the basis of that cases you are giving some theories but it is not like it will happen every time there can be like some cases where it will be not happening for example you you gave like i am a i cannot drive through wheel a uh, two wheeler i cannot drive four wheeler so you give a statement i am a not good driver i cannot drive anything what if you just try your hands on train and you are driving that train very good so what i want to say unlike deductive inductive deductive argument are valid or invalid if the premises are true then the conclusion will also be true definitely be true for deductive argument so deductive argument are of two type valid or invalid uh, is our uh, premises supporting conclusion or not on the basis of that it is valid and invalid inductive argument is strong or weak strong means your premises are supporting your conclusion very strongly you have many number of proofs to give a theorem for example you observe your uh, milkman only for 3 days and you gave a conclusion that he always used to get late so we cannot say na ki it will be true only but let's take a different condition you observed your milkman for 60 days and then you come up with a conclusion that he always gets late in this also we cannot say like he always used to be late because on 61th day he can be on time but as compared to this one this is a strong argument because we have more number of cases and this is weak argument so are you understanding this yes sir okay so deductive argument is valid or invalid but inductive argument are strong and weak if you have many proof then it will be strong argument you cannot say it is completely valid because you are giving a theory if you have many premises if you have many particular cases then it will be a strong argument 
if you don't have many particular uh, many uh, theories many particular cases then it will be a weak argument for inductive uh, reasoning so if you will get time i will tell you okay try to read this this uh, difference only and remaining you don't need to uh, bother about this definition and all we just discuss everything if you wrote everything then it will be uh, there will be no need to read all each and every line but in next class we will just uh, go through this and uh, try to read those difference on your own now we will meet at uh, evening 6 and we will discuss this any doubt you are having in this deductive inductive strong weak valid invalid do you have any doubt okay no sir okay so we will stop here in next class we will just uh, go through some more technical terms categorical uh, categorical syllogism and all we will discuss okay so we will just stop here thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you